My name is Jake Smith. I've lived here my whole life. I grew up on the farm. Uh, my parents moved here in 1987, and I've been here ever since. So Avila Valley Barn is a 46 acre agritourism operation. So we have a petting zoo, a full bakery, full deli, um, we do hay rides. Our whole orchard is you pick. So we bring the customers and community down and they can pick apples right off the tree or peaches or pears. Um, we're even gonna start up doing some, some veggie you pick and see if you know, our customers might wanna do that. Back in uh, 87, when my mom came here, there was just the one original barn and a pop-up tent. And people would honk their horns and my mom would go out running and say, oh, five pounds of Gala, five pounds of Fuji. And she'd run the bags out there to them. And that's how it started for the first about two years. And then just slowly over time, year after year, she just reinvested, built a little bit more, built a little more, put in gift shops, brought in the petting zoo for all the local mothers and fathers and children to come and spend their, their weekdays and all uh, free of charge. You know, it was always a way to get the community on our farm, you know, and that was always kind of the, the original goal and the original vision was to just bring the community out and to grow an awesome product and feed our friends and family. And that's what we've been doing for 30 years. We farm 22 acres on this property uh, with leased land and everything combined. We farm about 100 acres and do well over 200 different varieties of crops. And apples alone, we have 112 varieties and peaches, berries, apricots, pears, about 15 varieties of heirloom tomatoes, cucumbers, so pretty much everything from apples to zucchini, you know, we, we have it. It's a lot of work keeping this place running. We are very seasonal. We have a lot of ups and downs throughout the season. Employment kind of goes the same way. I spend all my time out in the fields with the farm crew and my crew will stay with me pretty much all season. And then we take a short little break through the winter and then we come back and start doing our pruning and thinning and getting ready for the next year. Right now we're in October, we got our pumpkins out and we about double in size um, in production, in customers, and in employment. So having to find that seasonal labor is really tough. Luckily we have a couple universities to pull from that bring in a lot of those people who need to pick up hours here and there. It's really interesting when you get people on your farm, when you start letting people onto your property, what, what it takes to go beyond just running a farm, you know, the aesthetics of you know, the weeds on the borders, and so just doing the, the aesthetics of a farm is a full-time job. The bakery and the deli, there's so many enterprises that, uh, that but that's what keeps us going too. You know, that's what one thing's gonna pick up while another one slows down, and being vertically integrated with all of our enterprises has really helped us out a lot. You know, if we have a bad year on apples, it's okay, we have peaches. You know, if we have a bad year on peaches, we got pumpkins. So that really helps us um, get through the season and probably wouldn't be able to farm uh, here in San Luis Obispo if we weren't selling directly to the consumer on the way that we do. On this property alone, there's no way I could supply the amount of product that we sell out of our farm stand. So we bring in a lot of produce from local farmers, our blueberries from Gary Teixeira, and uh, all of our blackberries are from Chewy Farms, and we get a lot of tally product, and so most of it's local. As far as our gift items and some of our sauces, uh, we carry a lot of local vendors on our shelves, and that's, again, just another way to involve the community and give them a platform to sell their product too. I don't know if anybody expected the Avila Valley to, to really blow up the way that it has in the last 20 years. Um, it's, it's really been a blessing for us to be right where we're at. We're on a main road going to a beautiful beach city that's really small. There's only one way in and it's right past our farm. So we get a lot of beach customers, a lot of people coming and going to the beach. This is the only Avila Valley barn uh, that I'm aware of, <laughs> that I farm. Um, no, this is the only Avila Valley barn. My family also owns Gopher Glen Organic Apple Farm and I do the farming up there as well. And my wife runs the stand and 
and we're doing hard cider out of there. And that's where we actually have our 112 varieties of apples, all certified CCOF organic. Bringing people onto your farm has its own set of things to deal with. Your customer safety is always a big thing. Um, just a simple dirt clod wouldn't be a big deal on a farm, right? But it does when you bring the customer onto your, uh, onto your property. The children will climb the trees, you know, and break branches and pull apples, but I did the same thing growing up, and that's really part of it, you know? And being able to come down, they probably eat more than they buy. Again, that's part of it, and that's what I, I love about it, and that's what I want to keep that idea going. We always tell the kids, you know, we're gonna weigh you before, and then we're gonna weigh you after, and we'll charge you for that. <laughs> It's just, I've, had, I've lived here for my whole life. I mean, we're on a floodplain here. This is, so it floods every single year, or it used to every single year. Um, last year was the first one in the last five years. But uh, kayaking over the apple trees down to turn the well off so it doesn't short out. It's just me and my brother climbing the trees and picking cherries out of the scaffold branches. It's just the things that kids would do, running amok and having 40 acres just completely to yourself with all the freshest fruits and vegetables you can have. Is there an, any better way to grow up? I don't, I don't think there is. From my family to yours, we'd like to invite you guys out here to spend some time with us on the farm. Come kick some clods, pick an apple, eat a berry. You guys are welcome to join us. We're at 560 Avila Beach Drive in San Luis Obispo.